reading, we're connecting back. Remember when they mentioned Weasel before in chapter one? So think about what you learned about Weasel in chapter one and then connect to what's happening right now at the end of chapter three. What are you thinking about? What are you noticing when you kind of put these ideas together? Anyone else? Yeah, I'm just thinking about the fact that the then he is the destiny. See if you agree with that. Okay, that um that something that we learned before is that Weasel he um they probably think before they probably thought that he wasn't real, like that he probably thought that he wasn't real. And um and also if you flip to the summary on the back it says it says that um, other children whisper that he's part man and part animal, and they're say, and then they're, they're thinking that he's real. Anyone else? Do you agree with Destiny? Or are you going to add something different? I agree with Destiny, but I also wanted to add that. that on page 13, it said that the stranger on a man sitting for me is trying to do the stand of a friend. My thing is one part of who he is because I think the animal is so that. The animal weasel kind of sneaks around. So you're saying that this man is kind of behaving like the animal is a weasel, right? Okay. So I have a pretty good feeling that the stranger and the weasel have seen each other before because of how the stranger is reacting. So sometimes we can learn about characters based on what they say or what they do. This man isn't talking, but he definitely has a strong reaction when he sees the, the other man walking through the woods, right? So it makes me feel like they have something, some kind of interaction or some kind of relationship from the past. You know, do we get a really good feeling about the relationship or a bad feeling about the relationship? Did you notice how the stranger was reacting when he, when he saw the man in the woods? 